Hello everybody. Hope you're doing okay. It's Wednesday. Yay. It's been a rough week already. We've got a lot of snow and it's been really cold and we're expecting more snow and what you know what I think I'm coming down with a cold. Why people go to work sick I have no idea. Everywhere in town everybody was sick so how can you help from getting it. But um, I want to thank Monique so much for the shout out and she was talking about the Jodgery nursing homes. Now she made a good point and several other of us of youtubers have been talking and even though we may have done videos in the past those coming out you know they really don't know what to search for you know on YouTube because they don't have any clue of all of these side businesses and you know money schemes and pyramid schemes and stuff that Watchtower has been involved in so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link down below to this video. You know, just to name a few. Russell and his Miracle Wheat. Russell and the Salon Corporation selling Miracle Oil. You know, they had, they had catalogs sending out from the mailroom right in Watchtower. And this was a biggie. Now Dallas, Canada and several others have done videos about this. This was the radionics machine. They were actually advertising this right in their literature back, you know, in these decades. So I'm going to put the link down below to some of these videos and like our playlist for the Jodgery. Yeah, these all are true. You can find it right in the literature. Now before I get into this one that I just got, it's you know I didn't know about this one I just want to mention I have heard from a reliable source thank you sweetie that Jehovah's Witnesses current Jehovah's Witnesses Watchtower this shows how desperate your witnesses your publishers are getting what some of the witnesses are doing is they're scanning the literature and they're putting it on websites like openlibrary.org or archives.org and instead of having the actual PDF that you can just download, you can borrow the book so that you can read it. And you have, you know, so many days to borrow the book. What these Jehovah's Witnesses are doing is every person that borrows the book, they're counting it as a placement. You know, I had someone send me a message on our website and they said, you know, I'm trying to talk to a Jehovah Witness friend of mine. You really shouldn't be laughing at Jehovah's Witnesses. Okay, now first of all, for the most part of the Jehovah's Witnesses, we're not laughing at them. But when you hear stuff like this, how can you not laugh at it? It is just so ludicrous. You know, back when Mike and my daughter Shiloh were pioneering, if they would have been able to do this kind of stuff, they would have gotten their time and they would have gotten a lot more placements. You know, my daughter wasn't able to go to pioneer school the first time she regular pioneered because she was 130 hours behind because she fell and cut open her knee and was out of commission for two months. You know, if she would have been able to do something like this, she wouldn't have had a problem catching up. So, yeah, I'm not laughing at the Jehovah's Witnesses but it just shows how pathetic and ludicrous this is getting. And I want to thank everybody so much for your comments and emails and phone calls. And I even got contacted by someone that I know from years ago that, you know, I thought she had left and wasn't really, you know, watching YouTube videos and stuff. And she sent me a message and she's like, Kimmy, what the hell is going on with Watchtower? You know, the Inuksuk. That was unbelievable. I'll tell you one thing. The more I research that, the more it's like I want one in my house or out in my front yard. I might have to build one because it can even get rid of evil spirits. <laughs> Wouldn't that include all that negativity from Watchtower? Maybe I need to put one in front of all this literature. Yeah, chase away all those evil spirits. And yes, I do believe in evil spirits. Okay, now getting into this. Like I said, I want to thank our source so much, you know, dear friend. He does a lot, so much for this community. You know, if you guys only knew how much he did, I mean, 
he has been up for the past 48 hours scanning um, and examining the scriptures book you know just so he can you know get this out and like I've said before about 99 percent of the literature we have on scans he has taken the time to scan all of this and put it in PDFs so you know he may not get much appreciation but we sure as heck appreciate all the hard work he has done and he's the one that has given us our beastzilla <laughs> and for those of you who don't know about beastzilla that is an entire watchtower archives that he has been working on for over 25 years scanning everything collecting everything he collects everything watchtower so we appreciate it very much and because I have the beastzilla I'm able to share it with others okay now getting into this I love this because he sends me a thing the watchtower movie gospel picture of a skeleton in a coffin there and says just sharing some new light with our friends and neighbors yes because this goes right along with some of the other stuff that we have brought out including the miracle oil and you know all that other stuff okay now this was announced in the August 15th 1920 watchtower right on the inside cover right down at the bottom you'll see published by the watchtower Bible Tract Society and they have you know like their information into foreign fields down at the bottom and I'm going to put the picture up here. This is a scan that I did. After this brief tour in Great Britain, Brother Rutherford will visit continental Europe. He will also go to Palestine and Egypt and will uh, be accompanied to Athens, Palestine, and Egypt by Brother Driscoll. Remember that name. And other brethren with a moving picture apparatus for the purpose of making moving pictures of actual scenes of the rebuilding of Palestine and other things of biblical interest in Greece, Egypt, and Rome. We take occasion here to announce that these moving pictures are being prepared for the purpose of a general witness to the truth and while the society cannot engage in the manufacture and sale of projecting machines a separate corporation, the Kinemo, Kinemo Kit Corporation, is K I N E M O, and I know this has been in other forums and mentioned before in the past. Like I said, this is right in the Watchtower as an announcement. Okay, the Kinemo Kit Corporation for promoting this work. So even though Watchtower can't manufacture this little projector that people are going to, the witnesses are going to be able to carry around and have these movies they are setting up a corporation that can um, for promoting this work will manufacture a miniature projecting machine suitable for use in the parlors of homes in small halls and schoolhouses so that any persons can operate it either by use of electric light or specially prepared gas light and can use the pictures for teaching Bible lessons these machines and films will be manufactured and furnished to the friends as cheaply as possible they're gonna make money on it a projecting machine and four reels of film can be furnished at approximately thirty dollars okay so they're saying you're gonna get a projector and four films for thirty dollars and it is expected that other reels of film will be produced at the rate of one per month at least and will be furnished to those having machines at a very low cost the society will control the output of the machines and the film so that it may be used to the best advantage for teaching the truth. So the Watchtower Society is going to have full control of these machines so that they can use, you know, to show these films and stuff. Friends desiring to purchase one of these projecting machines and film may send in their orders now and remit the money taken when we are able to announce in the watchtower definitely what the price will be an imitation of the number desired would enable manufacturers to determine about how many to make at the beginning okay so like I said that's the August 15th 1920 watchtower let's go to the 1921 watchtower October 1st I'm putting this one up here under announcements Kinemo kit and film 
In August 15, 1920, issue of the Watchtower, announcement was made concerning the making of certain films to be exhibited on a miniature projecting machine suitable for use in parlors. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, um, following that, Brother Driscoll and Brother Rutherford visited Europe, Egypt, and Palestine and made a number of films. Films have also been made of the Imperial Valley, California. These three pig kind of messed up print. Okay, it looks like these pictures have been exhibited on standard projecting machines in a number of places, namely Oklahoma City, Boston, Detroit, Buffalo, and some other places, and many of the friends have expressed themselves enthusiastically in favor of them. As heretofore announced, this is the second paragraph, the society cannot engage in the manufacturing business. Hence, the manufacture and sell, sale of the projecting machines in the film must be done by a separate corporation. Brother Driscoll is the manager of the Kinemo Kit Corporation and has put forth his best endeavors together with others who have assisted him to produce films and a projecting machine that would be useful in teaching the message of present truth present truth. We know that's changed. While the society cannot engage in the manufacture and sale as above mentioned, yet it is the desire of the society that every possible means for teaching the truth be employed. The Imperial Valley film is produced for the purpose of showing fulfillment of prophecy in the reclamation of the desert land and interesting people in the truths concerning restitution. The films made in Palestine more particularly relate to the return of the Jews to the land and the rebuilding of Palestine. Now this is what I thought, thought was interesting. That's why I'm reading this. While those made in Egypt have references to the Great Pyramid and the lessons it teaches. The general subject matter, of course, has the endorsement of the society and the effort of the Kinemo Kit Corporation to produce a satisfactory picture has the endorsement of the society. From this time forward, the Kinemo Kit Corporation will assume all responsibility of production, handling, sale, and distribution of the machine and film. The prices, as we are informed by the Kinemo Kit Corporation, will be announced in the near future. All orders should be sent directly to the Kinemo Kit Corporation at 1342 Gordon Street, Los Angeles, California. <sighs> Interesting, I'm telling you. Okay, from the 1922 Watchtower, May 1st, right on the inside page. Kinemo Machines and Pictures. As heretofore announced in the Watchtower, Brother Driscoll has been perfecting a miniature moving picture machine for the purpose of projecting pictures in homes, schoolhouses, etc. Agreeable to the former notice in the Watchtower, we publish the following notice, which we have received from Brother Driscoll. All communications concerning these machines and pictures should be addressed as indicated. And that's to the Kinemo Kit Corporation 2020. Dracena Drive, Los Angeles, California. So they had an address change. And then it just goes on to talk about this mini, uh, picture project, projection, projection machine is intended for inexperienced persons to operate. It has been completed and quantity production started for illumination. For illumination, the projector is equipped for connecting up the ordinary house electric lighting service. Prices have changed. The projector is still $30, but you don't get four films with it. You now have to pay for the films, which were $12.50 to $10 each. Now, I also know here that in this information that um, the 1922 Golden Age magazine had an advertisement for it and for the projector and the three films it came to $65 and then to send directly to the Kinemo Kit Corporation 2020 Dracena Drive Los Angeles California like I said 
it's right at the bottom of this golden age uh, page 798 see that was the 1922 golden age machine um, I don't see a month on here so there you have it another money scam just another corporation that Watchtower has its fingers in and we know we know there's so many more that they are actually in control of and you know they can't specifically do any manufacturing or have any corporation that does that because then you know puts into question their charity status so they have to start these other corporations and most of them you know are run by the higher ups of watchtower like we know um, their ATM machines and stuff their credit card processing through these ATM um, oh and the debit cards through these ATMs like in their convention and stuff they have is a corporation in California which just happens to be run by a Jehovah Witness so must be nice you know the ministry ideas you know obviously you know he's got some connections at Watchtower because he makes all these items like you know Bible covers and stuff like this and he's given a personal to personal tour of you know the new Warwick headquarters so anyway and I think it was Dallas Canada if I remember right that exposed that one but someone did but anyway like I said I know we've covered a lot of this in the past but you know like Monique says it's important to get this out to ones who are just now leaving and may stumble upon our channel they may not know what to go back and look for search for in these videos but it's radionics machine you know um, Russell and his miracle wheat Russell and his miracle oil um, the Solon S O L O N corporation back in the early you know 1900s maybe later 1800s and you know the radionics machine so much of this so much of this so I suggest you guys go watch some of these videos they're very entertaining so thank you for watching this one and you all have a great week bye